So it's close enough to 11 to get started. And again, we're going to start standing today just very briefly and going from standing to down onto our hands in a quadruped type position. If the coming up and down bothers you, then I'd like for you to just stay on your hands and knees. So if you have any kind of blood pressure or that act of doing the roll down, coming onto your hands and then back up bothers you, just stay on your knees. And whenever I have us roll down, give me some cat cows or side to side hip wiggles. That way we're not messing up any blood pressure or having any problems like that. Again, keeping us safe. So for the rest of us, we're gonna stand on up. I'm gonna come back here, hopefully you can see me. And just like we do kind of at the end of class, I'm gonna stand up nice and tall, neutral hips. My feet are firmly planted under my hips. Nice tall posture, core is on. Reach my arms up overhead, take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, rolling forward one vertebrae at a time. And then just articulating back up. <sighs> Perfect. And then again, rolling on forward, down, 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 down. The next time my hands touch the carpet, I'm going to try to keep my legs as straight as possible as I walk my hands forward, sneaky plank. We're just going to hold this for a count of four. Four, three, two, one. Try to keep those legs straight as I walk my hands back. Again, if that hurts or doesn't feel good, gentle bend in the knees, articulate all the way up, diving, diving, diving forward, <sighs> walking all the way back out to my plank, holding for four, three, two, one, and then walking my hands back. And again, like I mentioned, if this is starting to bother you, the up and the down, go ahead and stay on all fours and give me cat cows. Beautiful. This is our last one before we move on. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to walk myself back up. <sighs> now for this next one, we're going to get some nice mobile planks. So articulating all the way down, 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 down. Walk all the way out. <sighs> now that I'm in my plank, I'm going to take my right foot and bring it as far forward as possible. Set it back. Left foot as far forward as possible. And alternating, just really stretching and opening up the hips, getting those legs active. And your foot doesn't have to come as far forward as mine. If it comes to here, that's fine. Let's say okay. So we're all at different stages of being bendy. Give me one more on this side, <sighs> one more on the other side. And then we can walk, 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 all the way back up. Stretch those arms up to the sky and then diving forward again. Walk, 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 walk. Now this time, rather than do that nice extreme mountain climber, I'm going to bring my right knee to my left elbow. So opposite hand to opposite elbow, warming up the abdominals, neutral hips, core is engaged, one more on either side. And then again, back to my plank and walk, 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 all the way back up. Beautiful. Now, dive, 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 dive forward, walk, walk, walk out. Now that I'm here, rather than touch my right knee to my left elbow, I'm going to extend that leg and then extend the other leg and extend and extend, one more on either side. And walk, 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 walk. All the way back up. Stretch your arms overhead, <sighs> arms outside. Sorry about that, pull the shirt down. Now I'm just gonna do some nice squats. Perfect. For those of you who are on your hands and knees, go ahead and carefully, slowly, come back up to standing. And again, you don't have to go very far. If this bothers your knees, go down just before discomfort and back up. Again, heels are lowering me down and lifting me up. Perfect. Three more. Two more. Last one. Now when I come down, pause, walk as far as you can to the right, and then 
to the left, and then to the right, and then to the left. You can do whatever you need to with the arms. Just have fun with it. Let's <sighs> get ourselves all nice and warmed up this morning. One more all the way to the right, all the way to the left. <sighs> and then back to center. Ha <laughs> ha, you thought you were done. Stand all the way up, Ooh, stretch those arms to the sky. Give any kind of rotation that you need. Nice deep inhale, exhale. <sighs> Bring that booty all the way down to the floor or hovering. Elbows go inside the knees and gently just push those knees away from you. My spine is straight, hips neutral, core engaged. And just get that nice little stretch. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Now from here, I'm gonna release that tension on the knees. And if your balance isn't that great, put your hands in front of you so we can lift up onto the toes and ball of our feet and back down. You don't have to touch the floor, but if this helps you feel safe, just have a very feather light touch. Try not to come too far forward, like we're about to go into, what is that, crow pose in yoga? So again, very gentle touch here, just getting that nice ankle articulation with our body weight. Perfect. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one, come on down onto the booty. And then we're gonna lie down on our back. So, lying down on our back. I'm gonna be at an angle so I don't whack anything. Legs up to tabletop, arms straight up as well. As I exhale, extend the right arm overhead, left leg long, come back to center, and then go to the other side. Perfect. Technically, these are called dead bugs. I apologize, I was not involved in the naming committee on this. We're just stretching these muscles, getting all nice and warmed up, feeling our core. Perfect. Four more. So four, three, two, last one. If you need to hug those knees into your chest, and then we're gonna come onto our side. All right, now again, ideally we're gonna be laying down, hand, or pardon me, bicep on our ear, legs straight. Now from here, core engaged, one hip, shoulder on top of the other, lift both legs up and lower down. The legs aren't gonna get a lot of air time in this position, especially this bottom leg, because it's literally trapped between the floor and our top leg. So we lift and lower, lift and lower. If for any reason this is really bothering your bottom hip, you can gently roll a little bit backwards into this meaty part of the booty, just making sure that the upper body rotates with it. That way you're not twisting the spine at this kind of odd angle. Perfect. Four more. So three and two and one. Now, as I lift the legs, I lift my upper body. So I kind of look like a banana and then I come down and then crunch up. So I'm feeling those obliques and down, crunching up and down. Top arm can really just do whatever you want it to do and making sure that bottom arm is coming off the floor. So I'm not pushing with the bottom arm. It's all in my core to get me up and down. Three more. So three, two, one. Now, if you need to, I can set this arm back down. I'm going to be propped up again just so I can make eye contact with the camera. Keep these legs lifted. Bottom leg is going to be still. Top leg is going to make little rainbows over the bottom leg. So just over and over, over and over. Beautiful. Nice little rainbows. <sighs> Let's do four more. So four, three, two, one. If you need to, set those legs down. Whew. Just give yourself a little shake out. Otherwise, now when I lift my legs up, I'm just going to do little scissors. And again, bottom leg's not going to have a massive range of motion because it's trapped. So that's okay. You'll notice it on the other side too here in a bit when we roll over. Perfect. So again, four more. So four, three, two, one. Again, if you need to, whew, set those legs down. Otherwise, we're going to lift those legs. Top leg 
is going to pull into tabletop and press out while we just hover that bottom leg. And again, if you need to, top hand can be on the hips just so you can feel what's going on because this hip is going to want to try to roll backwards and we really want to try to stop that. So four more. So four and then three and then two and then last one. From here, you all are going to roll onto your tummy. I'm going to spin around so you can see me a little bit better. Perfect. And again, whenever we lay on our stomach, bony landmarks of the hips push down into the mat. Now my hands are actually going to interlace behind my hips. Your forehead is going to touch the floor. I'm going to take a nice deep inhale. As I exhale, push and swan up. It's not going to be a mighty swan because, again, my hands aren't helping to lift me. I'm just stretching my arms and my hands backwards towards my feet as I swan up and then back down. As I swan up and then back down. Perfect. Three more. So three and then two and one. Perfect. Now I'm going to forget about the arms for a second and bring my awareness to my legs. So if I hover the legs, just a little bit up off the mat. As I pull my heels into my booty, I'm going to dorsiflex and do one, two, three little pulses. Pointer flex the toes, legs go long. Bend in for one, two, three, and extend. So dorsiflex in for three beats and then extend out. And back out and back out. The reason I want you to hover the knees is if I have my legs relaxed and I dorsiflex in, I don't really feel anything. It doesn't really do much. So to get deeper into those muscles, we're going to lift the knees. And hopefully you can see that difference on camera. Perfect. So now let's plug all of this together. So if you need to, shake it out. Find your neutral again if we lost it. Take a nice deep inhale. As I exhale, squat up, come down, relax the upper body, hover the legs. One, two, three. Extend those legs out. If you can, keep them hovered as I squat up, come down, and then one, two, three. Extend the legs, squat up, come on down, one, two, three, so on and so forth. Two more. So one, two, three. The last one, and then one, two, three, and we come on down. All right, from here, let's roll over onto the other side. Again, if you want, bicep can be under your ear. I'm just going to be propped up like this so you can see me. Again, one hip on top of the other, one shoulder on top of the other. Lift both legs and lower. Lift and lower. This top hand can gently be on the mat or the carpet, or if you don't need it, keep it on your hips. And one side always has a little bit better balance than the other, so I'm sure you can see. Perfect. Up and down. Again, if this really bothers your hip, just roll a little bit backwards onto that meaty part of the booty, but again, make sure you're bringing that upper body slightly back with it so we're not bending and twisting the spine. Nice, happy spines today. Sounds kind of like a Bob Ross painting. <laughs> so four more. So four, three, two, one. Now, this is where we're going to turn into bananas. So as I lift my legs, upper body comes up and then back down. So lifting upper body and legs, getting deep into those obliques, feeling my core. Hopefully your abs are still on. Is that belly button just gently? pulling in towards your spine, or we've forgotten about our abs. As we come up and down, and again, try not to push up with this bottom arm. So up and down, let's do three more. Three, two, and one. If you need to kind of readjust, find your center and your balance. Now again, lift both legs, bottom leg stays lifted, top leg does rainbows over and then back. Again, trying to keep the hips as still as possible. 
you can watch and see what your legs are doing. This is a perfect opportunity to just kind of glance down and be like, what are they doing down there? How's my form? Perfect. Again, I can't see you, you'll never know. It'll be our secret. Perfect. Four more. So four, three, two, one. And if you need to, shake it out, reposition yourself. Now when I lift the legs, I'm gonna do those little scissors. And as we mentioned before, this bottom leg is not gonna have as much range of motion as the top leg. And that's okay. Poor thing, she's trapped between the floor and our top leg. So that makes sense. <sighs> nice, deep inhales, deep exhales. <sighs> Perfect. We're just gonna do four more. So four, three, two, one. Again, if we need to take a little break, shake, shake, shake. All right, lift both legs. This is where my top leg pulls into tabletop and presses out. Pulls into tabletop, presses out. Pull in, press out, pull in, press out. Bottom leg is still hovered. In and out, in and out. Four more, four, and then three, and two. Last one, oh, come on down. Now from here, I'm gonna come onto my back. So you know what time it is. Feet flat on the ground, hips in neutral, nice deep inhale, exhale, hinging bridge up and down, or articulation, whatever feels good for you and your body. Perfect, or if you wanna mix it up, you could do Monday hinging bridges, Wednesday articulation, Saturday every other one. Just mix it up and make it your own, whatever feels good for you and your body. <sighs> Perfect. Nice deep inhales, deep exhales. <sighs> Perfect. Again, keeping those knees as still as possible, evenly pressing through both legs, outside, inside of the feet. All the stuff we go over in class still applies. Perfect. Now on this next one, when the booty is down, I'm going to come up onto my toes and balls of my feet. Like I just put some high heels on and then lift up and down. Lift up and down, beautiful. All the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. The next time I hinge up or articulate, pause, and just give me some little heel lifts and lowers. Lifts and lowers, two more, and lowers. Oh, come on down if you need to rock it side to side. Now when I come up, I'm gonna slide my right foot long, Pull it back in and then hinge down. Hinge up, slide that left foot long, pull it back in and down. I know I don't really have gliders for this, but we're making do. So hinge up, slide that leg out, or if you want, you can just hover it across the ground, whatever feels good. So out, in, down, up, out, in, down. Give me one more to the right, one more to the left, and then we'll move on. <sighs> up, out, in, down. If you need to, hug those knees to your chest. Rock it side to side. Perfect. From here, I'm gonna grab the bottoms of my feet and come into a happy baby. Now, there's no right and no wrong way to do this. Whatever feels good for you and your body. Some people like the feet wide, some together, but it's just some form of stretching the body out. Knees can point wherever they need to. You can rock side to side. Stay still. Now, if we can, though, I'm going to open those feet straight up to the sky. So straight pointed straight up to the ceiling. And then try to pull gently, of course, my knee down and kind of towards this armpit area. So just gently, gently pulling down. If that doesn't feel good, do not do it. So this is just a nice optional add-on. From here, I'm going to take my right leg and stretch it long and then pull it in. Oof, that hamstring is so tight. So, clearly, should have done some hamstring stretches before this class. Perfect. Stretch it out, and back in. Out, and back in. Now, if you can, both legs long, and back in. Long, and back in, and you can all laugh at my really tight hamstrings. Perfect. Three more. 
two more. Last one, come down. <sighs> now from here, we're gonna come up, Wee! I'm gonna spin around so I can see you, shake it out if we need to. And we're gonna go into that V sit that we did last time. So hopefully we remember this position. So the legs are in tabletop, and to get there, my feet are flat, neutral hips, core is engaged, stand up tall. I'm just gonna roll backwards just a little bit, and my legs will just naturally come up as a counterbalance. From here, if you need to for balance, put the fingertips behind you, and I'm gonna extend both legs out and back in. So starting off easy, what we did last time, just jogging our memory, like, okay, I remember this. Out, in, out, in, perfect. Now let's mix it up a bit. One leg goes up, the other leg goes down a little. The legs are still straightening as much as they can, but now we're just going at this kind of up down motion. The arms can go with it if you kind of need to like figure out like what am I doing? How does this work? I'm sure these look beautiful. One more on either side and then we'll take a break. <sighs> Depending on how tight your legs are, you might feel this in your quads and your hip flexors. That's okay. It just means that we just need to work those a little more, stretch them out a little bit. That's a-okay though. So come back to that position. Now when one leg goes down, the other leg goes up, I'm gonna to rotate to where top hand touches the top leg. Perfect. Beautiful. So stretch and rotate, making sure I'm grabbing that leg. Perfect. One more on either side, and then we'll take another break. Come on down. Your back's been straight for a while, so if you need to, Hug those knees, round the spine. You can rock side to side if it feels good. So you can just listen to your body. Now, let's mix that up a little bit. So if the top leg is up, bottom leg down, I'm gonna rotate the same side as my bottom leg. Perfect. I like to extend my arms long just because it helps me get a little deeper into that rotation. If you don't like to, don't worry about it. You don't have to do it. One more on either side. From here, I'm just gonna lay on down on my back, bring my legs one at a time up to tabletop, and give me some single leg bends and extends. Extending one leg out to the center of the room and back to tabletop. Now this might be, try a little bit so you can see me, where if your back starts to get grumpy, we can talk about that. Uh, don't extend the leg out so far, so just reduce that range of motion. Or if you need to, go into that imprint. Now, if it feels good for your body and you want to add on, give me a double leg bend and extend. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Now, you can either close the legs together, squeeze them together for that buddy system, out and in. Or if you want to make it a little harder, create a gap between the legs. So, I don't know if you can... See that difference. Perfect. Four more. So four, three, two, one. Ah, set those feet down. Again, if you need to rock side to side, this can be a little grumpy for some people's backs. Awesome. Now from here, I'm gonna leave my feet alone, tuck my chin, arms nice and long, nice deep inhale, exhale, chest lift up, and back down. Perfect. For those of us where we just can't turn our neck off for chest lifts and it starts to really get in the neck, you're more than welcome to support your neck with your hands. Just know that this next se section might be a little bit interesting. So if you need to, you can alternate the hands and that's fine as well. So from here, the next time I come up, pause, give me five pumps of the arms and come on down. <sighs> Exhale up, one, two, three, four, five, and down. If you're thinking, hmm, okay, I've done this a time or two in my life, how can I make this a little harder? That's fine, that's why I'm here. A, you can bring one leg up to tabletop. Or B, both legs up to tabletop. Now, if tabletop is too easy, straighten those legs. And straighten those legs. Perfect. Or if you're like, oh no, I didn't like any of that. That's fine. You don't have to do 
to do that. You can just stick with these five. Perfect. And again, what it'll look like if I need one arm to support my head, then I'm just going to alternate and do pumps one arm at a time. Perfect. So again, make this your own. Do whatever feels good for you and your body. We do two more. That way, for those of us who are doing every other arm, we don't lose count. Perfect. <sighs> From here, I'm going to come onto my hands and my knees. Thought you got out of planks by doing it at the front of class. Ha ha ha. No. Alas, we have more planks. It's the best part of our day. So I'm going to do some cat cows or as always side to side hip wiggles. If you're a child's pose type of person, that's fine. So we're just moving the spine, whatever feels good for us in our bodies. So just really use this opportunity to just loosen yourself up to whatever feels good. Perfect. All right. Now, as always, you can do today's planks on your forearms or on your knees. So for example, I'm going to come up on my arms into a nice full blown plank. And I'm just going to saw the arms back and forth. So my arms are pulling me and pushing me forward. Core is on, hips are in neutral. Beautiful. And I'm trying really hard to forward is easy, but sometimes we push back, our butt comes up. So really make sure that booty is under control. So you need to squeeze the booty as you press back. So four more, four, three, two, one. Oh, come on down. If you need to stretch it out, whatever feels good for you. If you need to give those wrists a break. As always, you remember the pickle jar when we talked about in class, when we're planking, really grab your hands and push and grip into the floor to turn all these muscles on so we're not just relaxing down on the floor. So this next one's going to be fun. We're going to do chaturanga planks. So come up into your plank. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, come halfway down to a push-up. Hold for a count of three and press back up. And then repeat. For those of you on your forearms, what I want you to do is shoulder protraction and retraction. Perfect. If you need to, you can be on your knees. Come halfway down, count to three, and back up. Give me two more. Whatever feels good for you and your body. After your last one, come on down. Perfect. Now, because I'm not a total knee, our next one will all be on our knees. So, don't want to be too mean on one day. So, I'm going to come into a plank on my knees. From here, just give me some normal push-ups. If you want something a little harder, you're more than welcome to come onto your toes. But again, I can't tell who's in class today, so I don't want to be too terribly mean. If you're on your forearms, I want you to step out, in, out, in, just for four, and three, and two, and one, and then whew, come on down to that child's pose, stretch it out, however it feels good for you and your body. Now from here, I'm going to come down onto my tummy again. If you need to stretch it out, again, neutral hips, core is engaged. <sighs> now, I'm going to do like a really heavily modified swan. So this arm, my right arm, is going to push down into the floor as I bend my left foot towards my booty and then rotate to grab it with my left hand. And I'm just going to hang out here. You can pull your foot towards you and try to deepen that rotation to the left only if it feels good for you in your back and just hang out here nice deep inhales deep exhales if you want you can relax the right arm and let that left arm the spine our back muscles and that left leg get that nice stretch <sighs> from here slowly release and i'll spin around so you can see it on the other side again left arm is going to push down Will I bend and rotate to grab right foot with right hand? And again, you can pull if it feels good. If not, just hang out here. Again, release that left hand if you want. And again, I'm keeping that shoulder pointed up to the ceiling as I rotate, making my gaze follow to the sky or to the foot. Again, wherever the head goes, the body wants to follow. So it makes it a little easier. 
<sighs> and just relax as much as we can with this odd little gumby position. And then come back to center. Now, if you're feeling really bendy, send those arms behind you. Grab both feet. <sighs> now, this is as far as you want to go. You can stay here. If you would like, you can lift your feet and your knees and your shoulders up to the sky. And for me, it feels so good on my back, given the type of injury I have. If this doesn't feel good for you, stay down here. That's totally fine. But just staying here, if you want, you can get a little gentle rock front to back. The core really, really needs to be on to protect you for this. Squeeze the booty as well. Two more, one more, slowly come down and release. Last little thing we'll do, we're gonna spin around, around in a really low kneeling. But right now my booty's on my feet. So I'm gonna put my feet on either side of my hips. My hands can go behind me and I'm just gonna start to lean backwards. Now, depending again on how bendy you are, if this is as far back as you go, that's fine. But I want you to see just how far down you can go. Again, keeping the core on, hips in neutral, and just stretching the body out. If you'd like, you can reach your arms overhead, out to the side, or just keep them by your feet, whatever feels good. Perfect. Now, to get out of this, I'm gonna put my elbows into the mat or the ground. I'm gonna push, and then use walk my elbows back so I'm in that reclined back position. Now my hands can go onto the mat to push me up. And then I'm back to my kneeling. From here, very carefully, because we've been on the mat for a while, I'm gonna come back up to standing. So, stand up however you want to. Be very careful. I'm gonna stand up nice and tall, arms overhead. Inhale, exhale, and roll forward. Like I'm rolling over that imaginary beach ball. Let my head hang heavy, shake it yes, shake it no, shake my arms, shake my shoulders, shake my booty. One last deep inhale, exhale, articulate up. One vertebrae at a time, come back to standing. And we 